Okay, we're going to do an upgrade on this fume hood. The little PC fans that I use are a great idea, but not terribly effective. So I've bought myself a tangential blower, 12 volts. So I just need to actually fit this. Fortunately, the hole I've made in there is about the right size, so that's good. But I need to make a gasket to fit onto here. So I need the gasket not only to seal the face of the fan, but also because that bit there, the little flange there protrudes beyond the profile of the device. So I need to cut some foam. So I'm going to use art foam for that. Where did I put my art foam? So I've just got cheapy thin art foam. I'll probably have to cut about three or four layers to get the thickness I want, but that's fine. One of the things I've noticed about this Alexcam application is that there isn't a very easy way of turning vector art into outline cuttings. But what I've actually done here is I've created one. I'm going to use the outline mode here because what outline will do is it will just draw one outline for that circle and it will draw one outline anywhere where it changes from white to black or black to white, it will draw an outline. If I'd actually drawn this as a line dot diagram and then done outline, I'd have got two lines around every traced line. So I've just created a black and white image where I've inverted the circle there because I just want a single cutout. Hopefully that will make sense in a moment. So I want that to be 120 millimeters wide. Okay, and that comes into the LXCAM application like that, which is exactly what I want to cut. I just want to cut a single vector shape. So, let's just run a preview on that. Okay, that looks about right. So, lid down, fan on. And away we go. Okay, we'll just let that smoke clear a moment. Can we open up? Now, do we think that has cut through the foam sufficiently? Maybe not. I think I might go around again. Okay, so that's cut the pieces out rather nicely, very neatly. So it remains to see, did we get the scaling right? Let's turn the fan off now. So did we get the scaling right? How about that? Those holes line up very precisely with the screw holes. Very good. So I made, I didn't bother cutting a curve profile here. I just left it rectangular. But I may go back and trim that with a sharp knife when we're done. Now you might be wondering why my design had these little dots in the corners here. I found that this Alexcam application ignores white space at the edge of your image. So if you want to get exact scaling of an image you know is a certain size, I just put a little dot in opposite corners, which forces it to use the whole image, including the white space around the edge of your design. And then you get things coming out exactly the right scale. So, let's just cut a couple more of those. Okay, so I've got my three cut gaskets there and they layer up quite nicely and they give a enough clearance for us to get the pipe over that little flange just there. So I'm going to get that fitted on the side of the case and then we'll wire it up and we'll give it a try.
good amount of air blowing out of the end here. Good, let's get it all back into position and try it again. Okay, so there we are in operation, and that's definitely it's definitely got a lot more suction than those little PC fans had, which is great. That's what I need. Okay, so I guess we're gonna try lasering something that creates a lot of smoke now, just for the fun of it. Okay, it's not as quiet as the previous solution, but the ventilation it's providing is a hundred percent better. I can actually see the smoke going directly to the outlet tube there which is exactly what I need and then it's going blown forcibly out the window so we're not getting so much fumes blowing back in. Okay so it's New Year's Eve and I have been out shopping for bargains and I have gone and bought next year's cheese. Now if you watch one of my previous videos I showed you how I bought a truckle of cheddar in January of this year and saved it in the back of my fridge for a whole year and opened it for this year's cheese for Christmas. Now this is, I bought this in the sale, I paid £20 for this which is a bit more than I would like to have paid for a bunch of discounted cheese but we've got quite a lot here so let's have a look and see what we've got in this pack. So we've got a truckle of Wensleydale with cranberries, that will be in a week or two. We've got stuck together with little glue dots. We've got a moderately ripe camembert. It's not too squashy, so that's good. That'll keep for a week or two. We've got a wheel of Stilton. Which I've got to pull off really carefully because that's just wrapped in plastic. And I don't want to damage the wax on this bottom one. Right, so we've got a wheel of Stilton. That will that's the ripest smelling of the bunch, so that will need to be used in, I don't know, a few weeks. We'll probably chop it in half, wrap one half really tightly to keep it while we eat the other half. And then we've got this, which is a nice big wheel truckle wax coated of cheddar. Now I don't know what kind of cheddar we've got here actually. Uh, it just says cheddar cheese. So it may not be all of that mature but of course we're going to keep that in the back of the fridge for a year best before 25th of january 2018 yeah right so that's next year's cheese thanks for watching and i hope to see you again soon